Hello and welcome back to my little video series about the Voron 2.4 aluminium parts. In the first part we got a general overview about the what and why I choose aluminium parts. In this video we will have a closer look at the parts themselves. We will also talk about the quality in general and specific with these parts here. And yes, we will also have some close-up shots of the parts, but more about that later. So here they are, the Voron 2.4 aluminium parts. 69 parts in total, if I have not miscounted. So as far as I know it, these parts are only available in this cool red-black looking color scheme. The colors are anodized. But before we talk any more about the parts and manufacturing quality, let's first address the elephant in the room, the aluminium itself. I forgot to talk about this in the last video. Well, many of you know this before, but I like to mention it here again. There are different kinds of aluminum. Well, actually we are talking mostly about different aluminum alloys if we talk about aluminum. The difference is simple. Aluminum itself is inside the periodic system and relatively soft. So to make use of this material we combine this material with other materials. Thereby, we enhance the material properties with other elements from the periodic system. So if we talking about different alloys, what are we really talking about? What are the main differences? According to Wikipedia, there are eight main groups. Each group is differentiated by the main alloy element. Some examples would be copper, silicon, magnesium or other elements. Another very important fact is, and this is also different between the groups, if the aluminum alloy is weldable and hardening or curing. For us, this does not matter, or does it? Well, we don't need an aluminum that is weldable, for sure. But we need, or the manufacturer needed, an alloy that is good machinable. That would lead him to faster run times. He could make more parts and that leads to a lower price which he of course passes through to us. So what is interesting for us? The yield point of the material. That is the point until the aluminum is more or less elastic. If the yield point is higher, the material can withstand a higher load. Often these material costs more, but like mentioned before, when it comes to make the decision what material we should use, we have to consider multiple factors. The material the Voron 2.4 aluminum parts are made of is 6061 aluminum. It is a well-known aluminum alloy in the bike frame industry and also inside the aerospace sector. This material is widely used. To be honest, for most of you guys, this will make not a huge difference. Aluminum is just a cool and awesome lightweight construction and engineering material. For those of you who are interested in this stuff, please feel free to subscribe and like this video. In further videos we will have a more detailed view into the theoretical parts of things. Back to the parts themselves. In the beginning of the video I promised that we will have a look at the parts and see them from a quality perspective. Since we cannot measure the material, we simply have to trust the seller on this one. But what we can see is 
the surface finish through the anodized surface finish and this is for most of the parts extreme good. I would not say perfect but overall very very good. With this little guy here for example you can clearly see the milling tools. But guys let's be reasonable these are mostly technical parts. The surface quality here presented is okay for the price. But like mentioned before technical parts. But there are some things I can complain about. If you look at this part here, for example, you can see some scratches in the surface finish. It's not well anodized, but I guess it's okay because the scratches are inside and you will never see them from the outside. I also found some not so nice machined areas, but you can decide yourself what you think about these. And then there are some scratches and dents, but just small ones. Maybe they came from the shipping, who knows. Okay, before we came to the cool measurement stuff, let's first have a look at this part here, especially at this chanfer here. It's just beautiful. Next, I would like to come to the most important part when it comes to the quality of CNC machine parts. The accuracy. So how good was the machinist or the machine in making the parts? To check the accuracy, we need some measuring devices. Calipers, for example. But when it comes to real precision, we normally use outside micrometers. Okay, let's first make a short test with my analog caliper. Here I'm taking a part called Z-Belt Clip Lower. Maybe we can get a close-up shot of this one. Let's see, maybe with some music. The value on the watch claims something about 19.96 millimeters. Not bad. Let's have a look at the value from the outside micrometer. Well folks, here you have it, four thousands of, of a part that is machined, anodized and sent half around the world. Pretty damn good.
Since I did not check which dimensions are critical, I'm taking here a part and checking the outside dimensions. I'm going to compare these dimensions with the CID ones. There are a few ways to determine thereby the quality. You can say the absolute value of the part and the overall value of more than one part. For example, you can compare these parts here with the CRG drawings and thereby you can check how accurate it was machined. If you do that with all the same parts, you can check if the parts are consistent, so to say. That is it again with the video. I hope I was able to give you first impression of the Voron 2.4 aluminium parts. Please consider like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content. This keeps me motivated and I'm pretty sure that you will also benefit from this.